Hola amigos, it's been a minute, it's popping. I hope everyone has been nothing short of fantastic recently in their life. Um, I've been I've been a little bit AFK on the whole YouTube thing. I've been uh, just kind of living, you know? And I know I set these, these goals for myself and I still haven't forgotten about them. And I haven't fallen off the horse entirely and I hope you guys can see that. I've just kind of been enjoying life. And before we get too far into the video, if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love for you to do that. That would make my day. Um, drop a like and, and comment what you want to see from me. Because I do, it, I love reading the comments. I genuinely love it. Um, but yeah, I just I took a trip to Costa Rica and it really just changed a lot for me. Um, so I'm going to talk about what I took away from Costa Rica. And how I've just kind of been carrying myself throughout life recently because I feel like I've I've changed a lot. I've developed a lot in the past month of my life. It's already March, what the fuck? Um, and I think what Costa Rica taught me is that I need to have my inner Costa Rica at all times. Because when I was there, I was just in this, I was so zen. I wasn't letting anything external bother me. I was just there living in the moment and I was there to just live and be free. And I had this mindset, this limiting belief that when I got back to Miami, it wasn't gonna be like that. And then my friend Eric told me, he was like, yo bro, just find your inner Costa Rica. And I sat there and I, I like internalized it. And I was like, damn. <laughs> Damn, that's fucking facts. Um, Cause all those feelings that you're desiring, that you're wanting to feel, like you can just feel them on demand practically. It's fully up to you on when you want to feel those things. You can feel those things. So it's like, I think back to what I was feeling when I was in Costa Rica, those emotions, clarities, like peace. And I just think about what it felt like when I was out there on the surfboard um, in the salt water and the sun, the, the sun's just beating on my skin and it was fully just like me out there and like my friend obviously that I went with but he was doing his thing and I was just, I had a moment where I sat there with myself and I was like, holy shit. So I think back to how that felt and I can feel it in this moment because your brain is another this is why it's so important to just be conscious of what you're allowing yourself to think about because if like if you think back to a, a moment that was traumatizing to you or a situation that was traumatizing to you didn't bring any good emotions your brain can't tell the difference whether that's happening now or if it happened in the past you know your brain just keeps re-experiencing these things thinking that it keeps happening again so you have the power to choose what you want to re-experience and I want to re-experience that feeling of me being on that surfboard every day so I do, I simply do, because I remind myself that those feelings, yeah, the, the, the environment I was in where it was a stimulation that pulled it out of me, but now I can pull it out of myself whenever. And so can you. So think back to a moment where you felt like calm, peace, whatever. Whatever your desirable emotion is, you can, you can go right back to it whenever you want. Obviously you gotta, have, you gotta have the balance of like being in this moment because one day you're gonna miss this moment just like you're missing those moments, but like if we can just carry ourselves in this way where everything's fine. Because everything will be fine. And that's something that I've deeply internalized as well. Because with my whole NFT project, I've been stressed out about it a lot. Just make, like wanting to make sure that everyone's happy and like everything goes well. And it's really hard to do that. Um, but I'm trying my best. And I just keep reminding myself that everything's going to be fine. Everything will work itself out. Um, so I'm going to give it my best. And like, your best, if it's not necessarily enough, whatever, you know. You gave it your best. That's all you can really do. So I think that's, I, I would say the most important thing that any, any human can do is just, I know you've heard me say this a lot of times, and not take anything seriously. But I genuinely think that's super important not to take anything seriously because like no one knows why we're here. No one. No one. 
and it's crazy because society has made it feel normal that we're just like insignificant we're just humans walking around on this planet you know going to work doing all these things that we don't want to do and that's just a way to live you know like why the fuck like there is no right way to live there isn't it's fully up to the individual to choose on how they want to live and then if whatever's right to you, it doesn't have to be right to anyone else. <laughs> that's why I dropped out of college, and that's why I feel like everyone should just choose what makes them happiest, not really doing things and choosing things out of the validation they're searching for from their parents, siblings, whatever. <laughs> just always do what makes you happy. Because I think people overcomplicate life a lot. Just they overcomplicate everything and I think it's so important to just realize whenever you start overthinking that it's not that serious. We're gonna die one day, you know? And I know it's one thing to say these things, but like when you deeply internalize it, it makes a world of a difference. Nothing serious. Like your job, not that serious. Your relationships, as serious as they may seem, they're not that serious. Because everyone's temporary. Just have your intentions in the right place. Want to be a good human. Strive to be a better human every day. Never do anything to intentionally hurt someone. But always do what's best for you. From the place of knowing that nothing's that deep. Nothing. Figure out what you want from life. Make a plan on how you're going to get it. Go after it. Don't stop until you get it. Prioritize your health and your well-being before you prioritize getting money and bread. Just become the best version of yourself and then everything just works itself out. I didn't really know what I wanted to title this YouTube video. I just knew that it was time to post another YouTube video, so. I miss you guys. I'm so grateful for all of you. If you interact on my Instagram, my TikTok, my YouTube, I love all of you forever so much. Um, I'm excited for what the rest of the year has to bring and I hope to see a lot of you guys at the uh, April event uh, but that thing has been so stressful to plan you guys have no idea how stressful it is to plan three events for 200 people bro <laughs> but it'll all be worth it in the end right I love you guys stay woke what the hell is that and don't take anything too seriously enjoy yourselves